In this video, we'll show you how to create a task that loads source data to a cloud data warehouse in cloud data integration. From the home page, click New and create a data loader task. First, we'll connect to the source. Let's select an existing Salesforce connection. We can read all of the Salesforce objects or we can exclude or include some of the source objects. Let's include some of the objects. In this example, we'll include accounts, leads, opportunities, and contacts. Let's fine tune the source data. We can exclude fields and define filters, primary keys, and watermark fields. When you exclude source fields from a data loader task, the task doesn't load the field data to the target. In this example, we'll load all source fields. When you define a filter, the task loads only the records that match the filter condition. For example, we'll add a filter to include only the accounts that were created on January 1st, 2022. The task can detect primary keys for many source types, but you can also enter a primary key manually and make the primary key the same across all the objects in the data source if the objects have the same name. Watermark fields identify records that were added or changed since the last time the task ran. Define watermark fields if you want to keep the target data up to date with new and changed data in the source. The task can infer watermark fields for Salesforce sources. So in this example, we'll automatically detect the fields from the source. Next, we'll select an existing target connection to connect our cloud data warehouse. Enter a target prefix to name the loaded objects. You can also enter a unique path to the directory where you want to load the objects. Now we need to decide how to handle changes in the source data when we run the task again. We can either update the existing target tables or drop the target tables and create new tables. For this example, we'll choose yes. If the structure of the source data changes in between runs, the task will apply the changes while loading the data to the target. Finally, we'll name the task, add a description, and customize how to run the task. Here we'll schedule the task to run every Friday at noon. To add email notifications, we can enter a list of people we want to notify when the task fails, has an error, or succeeds. We'll enter the email addresses for Ray, a data analyst on our team, and Sarah, our manager, so they'll be notified when the data is loaded successfully to the cloud. We can review the task location to find and edit the task again later. The runtime environment is the platform that runs the data loader task. Informatica provides the managed, scalable cloud runtime to run data loader tasks so you don't need to configure any settings. Now we'll save the task and run it. Since we scheduled the job, the task will run again next Friday at noon and update the existing target tables with new and changed data in the source. And that's all you need to know about creating a task.